What it is, what it was, and what it do, y'all. It's your Jackie from Hey Jackie Beauty, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today, I just wanted to get a little bit sentimental and reflect on 2019. So grab your cup of tea or whatever just to sit back and relax. Put on your PJs. I got my Christmas ones on. And yeah, just keep on watching if you want to see what I have to say about 2019. Also, I want to make sure I give everyone a chance to subscribe and join the beauty club. Let's have you guys be part of the fam here. So make sure you hit that bell button so you get notifications of when I upload. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm on all those platforms that say Jackie Beauty. So comment, uh, follow me, DM me, whichever you like, and I'll make sure to respond to you guys. All right, now let's get on with the video. So I wanted to keep this sentimental yet short and sweet um, because... I just feel like it's important to reflect back on the year. I don't want to uh, wallow too much in the year because there's ups and downs. If anything, I just want to kind of just share how I feel about it now in December. Um, I really wasn't on this platform much for most of 2019. Uh, I think I came back like at the end of summer, middle end of summer. Um, but that was a good time for me because I had just had a baby. Um, 2018 ended very rough for me just because I was in the throes of motherhood. I just had a baby. Um, and so in December, I believe I was three months postpartum. January 2019, it started off rough because that was when I was put on the highest dosage of the blood pressure medication I was taking at the time. Um, and I was just really scared about it. I talked about this a little bit in my postpartum video, but... For January 2019, I was just very scared because I just, you know, it seemed like I was just going to be on this medication for the rest of my life or that I would need it in order to deal with my blood pressure and everything. So I wasn't too happy about that. I didn't handle this at all. Honestly, at that point, I didn't handle it much grace. And also, too, at that point, um, my grandmother was in the hospital. And so if you guys haven't watched my postpartum video, um, you would, I'll let you guys know now. At the end of the month, I did get off my blood pressure medication. I actually like was slowly tapering off when my grandmother passed at the end of the month. It's very bittersweet. You know, I miss her. We all miss her. Um, and at the same time, we know that she's not far away. <laughs> you know, and there's just different things that have happened throughout this year that have been reminders of her in the most sweet and reassuring ways, like to know that she's still with us, um, very much so very involved and all that. And so that's been a very sweet thing for us and especially like for me to see throughout this year. Um, and I think too, just getting off the medication too at the end of the month, like that was really like the corner that I needed to turn in a lot of ways because I think it really tested my faith um, because it took a lot of like I just I had so much anxiety and so much stress and so much fear around you know now that like I the medicine kind of being not a crutch but it was just something that helped my body not having those kind of that taken away um, I was fearful of what my body would do and whether or not my body would kind of like figure out, you know, how to do what it had always done before. Like, I just didn't realize how much I took my health for granted. Um, and I think all of this, honestly, like, it was such a huge lesson and it was a great lesson. Like, I'm, I'm so glad I went through what I went through because now, like, I'm taking my health more seriously. Not that I really, like, like, I didn't do, I wasn't reckless with my health. I just took it for granted. And so now, you know, I just, I, I don't take any of that for granted, you know. I think, you know, the beginning of the year and that whole time that I um, wasn't online in the beginning of 2019, it was really a lot of reconciliation, a lot of, you know, building up, you know, some strength and and just learning, again, to, to trust this body that God had given me and to trust him at the end of the day and know that he's faithful. So... You know, that was a lot to learn and a lot to kind of go through personally. 
um, on top of having a baby and everything and, you know, living again with my family and being married, you know, all that. It was just, it was a lot to learn and kind of like get through. And so to be where I'm at now, um, I feel like it's just a huge testimony. I'm working again. I'm doing this stuff here, but also doing um, video editing and recording for the beer guys. And that's been a ton of fun. On top of that, you know, doing video work and design for other people again has been huge and has, you know, been a great thing for me. It's been exciting to kind of see that. Looking at everything now, I would, I would say that the Jackie in the beginning of 2019 would not have been able to imagine all the things that are happening right now at the end of 2019. And I just look forward to 2020 with so much hope. Um, a few weeks ago, even, I would say, like, I was just very negative about, you know, not reaching certain goals or things not looking the way that I thought they were going to look. Um, but I just, I needed a reminder that all the things that I was doing was not in vain. I don't live my life with the expectation of people, like, giving me a high five or giving me things or saying, oh, you did so great and so wonderful. You're such an amazing person. I, you know, having, having been a PK most of my life, I think I tend to like living my life in the background because I don't ever want people to put me on a pedestal. I think something that my mom always told me that I feel like I definitely carry with me is that people will love you one second and hate you the next. So I know the reality of people being very fickle. Um, at the same time, I don't take for granted people's um, sweetness and compliments and all that stuff. Um, and so just, I think it's just because of that, um, I just don't live my life in a way where I feel like people need to acknowledge me. So when I get the acknowledgement and everything, it's just, it's something I appreciate and love. And um, I got a lot of that kind of like, you know, honestly, throughout this year, I got that, but also I would say definitely like in December. Um, you know, I have, I have really great, sweet friends, family and everyone and, and in different little ways when I was going through that little, you know, week of just being down to myself, everyone was doing or saying or acting in a way that was just really assuring and re-acknowledging to me and I appreciated that and that's really like changed my outlook from that point on um to just really be thankful and grateful and to realize that I did a lot <laughs> I did a lot I accomplished so much um and I'm just so grateful and thankful and I don't need to be hard on myself all the time sometimes I just can, I can pat myself on the back every once in a while and be like, good job. You, you did that. You did that, girl. So, yes, I did that. I, you know, I did that. The Lord did that. Um, you guys did that. You guys have shown up and shown out for me and are still watching my content. And I am so thankful for that because it can be scary to leave for an extended period of time and then come back. Because, you know, it just is always the idea, like, is it even worth it? Like, is my content even something that people would be willing to wait for? Um, some of you guys think that it is, and that's baffling to me. But at the same time, you know, I'm not going to, again, I'm not going to discredit myself and the work I put into what I do. Um, and so with that, I really do try to offer my best. And I hope that you guys see that, and I hope you guys appreciate it. And I hope that what I do is helpful at the end of the day. That's the whole point of the channel is to help um, everyone and to help educate, whether it's around hair, um, motherhood, black womanhood, <laughs> life as a person living on this earth, um, all of that. Like, I hope it's helpful. And if it is, then great. I'm, I'm very glad that it is. And so, yeah. I kind of, I feel like I get long-winded with these videos and I don't want to be long-winded with this. So I'm going to end it here. 2019 was one heck of a year. I'm so excited for 2020. It is the end of a decade. This decade has been so good to me. Um, you know, I graduated high school, graduated high school, college. I got married and I had my baby all this decade. And it's been so much growth. And so I, I can't be anything but grateful. And so... I hope for you guys that, if not this whole decade, that parts of it were good to you. 
Um, and I look forward to 2020 with you guys. And I'm praying and hoping for the best in every way, shape, and form. So, yeah. Much love to you guys. And so comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of your 2019. Have you been able to reflect and look back on it? Have you been able to think at all about 2020? I think it's been just kind of busy with the holidays because that definitely tends to happen a lot. Just let me know down in the comment section below and I'll be sure to respond. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will talk to you guys later. Much love. Bye.